today I'm taking over Silvia's vlog. Not feeling 100% but we're kicking through it. We are at Cafe Coffee Day, which is one of the biggest um, chains. It's like Starbucks in, the, in India basically. And we had the shittiest coffee ever, but we need a pickup. No. India's kicking your ass? A little bit. Yeah? Yeah, it's... I don't know, it's a little harder than I thought. I Don't get me wrong, I love it, I like it. Just traveling into towns like this ones, they are so crowded and there are so many people. It's insane how many people there are in this freaking country. There are people all over, all time of the day, just everywhere. Even in the middle of the desert, there are like group, groups of people. And um, yeah, that with the, with the heat, it's, it's a hard combo. <laughs> To be fair, we are in one of the biggest cities in Rajasthan because this is the capital. And to be honest, in the past five months, what I, I can share of my experience is that I love the little towns, I love the coast and the south, it's amazing, the nature. But cities in India are just like way too much for me, it's yeah. so overwhelming. Today we're moving on to Pushkar. We're gonna check out, get a bus. Go to a push car. I think that's gonna be a little better since uh, it's a smaller city. Mm -hmm. There's a big lake. A lake. And, uh, it's a medium sized lake. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a little traveling update on my health in the past five months. I actually had my ups and downs when I went in India with my health. I went to the hospital due to like severe. Uh, <laughs> how do I put this? Yeah, this, this severe diarrhea. But other than that, I've been pretty lucky. The only thing I can really say I've been uh, struggling with my skin has been uh, I've been breaking out really bad. It's a combination of uh, traveling because it's pretty stressful on the body, and India is very polluted, so that can clog your pores. Plus, Indian food it's pretty oily and heavy. I'm gonna just say that and it really doesn't help with your acne. So if you're one of those people like me who already struggles with acne because of genetics, I'm not saying to shitty genetics because thanks mom and dad, but I don't have a tip for you. Maybe don't travel, maybe don't go to India. I'm not sure, but you know what? I learned how to deal with it. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. I mean, I'm, I'm having an amazing time. You know, it's like, who fucking cares anyways? Right? We made it on the bus. Oh, yes! We're getting out of freaking Jaipur. Finally! Oh my god, what? Getting out of the bus, there were people pushing us. And the worst are the old ladies. Yeah. The old ladies just are mean and angry and they push you around. We made it to push them though, which is good. So after almost five hours of buses, we made it to Pushkar. And we're sweaty, very dirty, oily and a bit hairy. Jesus! <laughs> to TMI yet? Just so I'm, I'm fine. I look great. Right? <laughs> Whatever. Uh -huh. But we're very happy. We found probably the best guest house slash hostel I've ever seen in yeah. India so far and for a very good price. We have the AC, but we can't use it. Other than that. <laughs> but. but at least it's cooler. Yeah. And we met some girls from uh, from Canada. Canada. You were, yeah. Yeah. And so we just. Uh, Follow them along, they knew about this place and it's pretty good, pretty yeah. good. So today we're gonna chill at the pool for a little bit and then explore Pushkar. Yes. Did I say it right? Yeah, you did. All right. Nice. See you later. Bye. We're turning to have breakfast. They gave us this flower. Today is like some sort of holiday, so 
In order to access the city, we have to put the flower in the lake first because it's, uh, it's, now we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, basically we cannot have breakfast before we put this freaking flower in the lake. So, let's, let's do go it. do it. Shower. Okay. Indian people make shower, Western people touch water. Pushkar Puja. Pushkar We just had a beautiful ceremony. It was the Puja. It, it was the Puja, which is the ceremony for uh, luck and uh, like blessing your family yeah. and your loved ones. And uh, because this is a sacred city, they're giving you this bracelet that allows you to walk around the city. Otherwise, you, you're not gonna be able to. Um, the only thing is that it was so beautiful and you know very, uh, very colorful and everything. But then they start asking you for money. They they tell you like how much money do you want to put? You know you, you have, have to, to promise. You have to I promise do, and every every person has two karmas, so it's like you cannot like. Uh, you cannot share the money, and in yeah. this case, only one of us had money. And uh, the way they pressured us into giving money was very ugly. And it was so sad that such a beautiful ceremony ended with such a... I'm looking for a ring that calls my name. We're in a beautiful place and I got a freaking cold. Ah! My nose is running and I... One of my favorite places so far in India, Pushkar, has been amazing. Other than the uh, scam experience that we had this morning with the puja, I mean, this place is really amazing. And Silvio feels sick. It's very beautiful. It's very, it's very small. The streets are small. There aren't too many people driving around. There are a lot of people, not too yeah. many driving around, honking. Um, it's more peaceful, definitely. Mm. And basically, this city is built on around this lake, which is a holy lake. Yeah, uh, I don't know if we said it before, but uh, Pushkar is one of the oldest cities in India, and uh, it's one of the five holiest places here yeah. in India. So there are a lot of pilgrims coming here from all over India, Hindu pilgrims. We were talking to some people at the restaurant we just stopped and they told us that uh, what we did this morning with the, um, puja, with like the, the puja and the bracelet, <laughs> it's a total scam. Well, they also take advantage of their own Indian pilgrims, which I think it's awful. It's terrible because there are, there are a lot of poor people coming, coming here from all over India and sometimes they you know, they don't even have money and they scam them for even, you food, know, clothes, the food, food they grow. And, yeah, yeah, it's really, it's really bad. And people feel like they need to give something big because of the, because they believe it's their religion, yeah. you know, it like grants some protection to their family, health and wealth. So people do it. Oh, look where we are. Okay, hello. Okay. We have a... Uh, Special appearance. Oh, is she shy? Song. Yeah, I think she's camera shy. And this is why Indian people never get sick because when you bathe and drink this kind of water, your immune system. Is the strongest Either in the world. Either die or you survive yep. everything. <laughs> oh god, it's hot. Oh god, it's hot. Oh, oh. 
Ah, 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 ah,